Hello and welcome to Lemming TV. In today's episode, I'll be continuing with my Jazz Marble League career mode. I hope you enjoy. So, if you haven't checked out the last episode, you should. Uh, we did the block pushing, which we won. And I believe uh, we had our Joker, yes, we did. And the one before that were the, was the hurdles. So, today we'll be doing the triathlon. So, as we see at Sandings, we're currently ahead by quite a lot. Even if we come last year, Rangers win, we'll still be in the lead. So, arrange us, arrangers, and probably Snowballs and Sarah are the teams you should be looking out for. So, we'll check our messages just before the event today. The team has mis the team have misplaced their towels. There's a suggestion that they were in fact stolen by the Savage Speeders sabotages, but you can't prove this. Nonetheless, we don't have any official team towels. What should we do? Well, Savage Speeders seems to have stolen our towel. So we can either um, JMR, J JMA can offer us some white neutral towels. They won't be in our colours, but it's better than nothing. By some weird twist of fate, the Savage Speeders have. Some of their spare they can lend us, but can we be seen in those colours? We don't need towels, by the way, of that. We'll just take the free towels. Uh, just a quick message to say that the, the use of the joke after the last event was inspired. We've received healthy points, by the way, by the way. We're sitting pretty in the number one spot. Let's try and maintain it. Yes, good. Carl feels shattered right now. Unfortunately, there are no special treatments, of course, or, or courses available. Say it's considering blah 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 blah. And finally, Lord Palmerston feels a lack. Feels that they lack overall longevity. They request to get some special one-to-one -one training to endure, uh, improve their endurance. Which I will say yes to because I've got plenty of gold. But apparently I've already uh, converted all of our money, so we don't have the budget unfortunately. So as we go on to the next event, the triathlon, and uh, so triathlon is very much speed and endurance, so we got some pretty high endurance and speed. Tom, we'll probably use Tom as he is 90. Uh, speed and 100 endurance, so 100 strength and 100 motivation for this event. We won't use our joker though. So, as we watch the uh, uh, demo run, the first is uh, so, by the way, Thunderbolt's using their joker. So, the first part is like a Marbula 1 track, which, if you didn't know, is another series made by Gels Marbles uh, runs. Then you go to this dirt area, which is like Sand rally, finally into the underwater part. As we go into the fast round, team from Green Ducks are over all the Savage Speeders. Savage Speed is currently in fourth, but they get very poor starts. And now it's between team from and the Green Ducks who will take the win. Everyone else is dropping back, but you can change it entirely in the water section. But they will get pretty equal. With Rojo Rolls and Savage Speeds going a little slower, but Savage Speeds now have to take the Rojo Rolls, but it won't be enough. As we see where they finish, it's Team Primary and the Green Ducks going through. So we go to the next one Shining Swarm, Arrangers, Thunderbolts, and Team Momo. Thunderbolts are currently using their Joker, so they really need to get a good round, but they immediately crash, which will mean that they've got lots to uh, make up through this next part, and the water part will be pretty crucial for everyone. Rangers currently second in the championship. Thunderbolts are currently in third, and it's going to be very close. Who will make it? Hopefully, the Thunderbolts will, but the Rangers just uh, go ahead as. The arrangers currently uh, the team right behind us, but in real life I do support the arrangers, so I don't really mind that. So next we're up against Melo, uh, Snowballs, and Limers. 
Snowball's third in the championship, as we all put Tom in. So he's got some pretty good stats and isn't tied at all. But we are starting towards the centre. And this means that we could hit that inside um, bollard, which we don't. But we are in last position. So we've got to make up some time very quickly. So we go down through the dirt part. Oh, it's very close. But I think we are, we are in second and we might even be able to get the win. But the mellow yellow storming, we've just got really to push. And just in the nick of time, we really get the afterburners on and are able to slot in second place. Snowball's going through with us. And a very slow run by Lambs, five seconds behind the Snowballs. Next, Cobots, Walls of Chaos, Hazus, and Oceanix. Walls of Chaos getting a very bad start at there. We're seeing loads of people crash. Uh, at the start, compared to last season, so we'll have to look out for. Luckily, we didn't uh, crash there, as we will see who goes through. The balls of chaos seem to have forgotten to be a little bit darker when they're underwater. As we see Hayes and Cobalt's going through, as we see the bottom runners. Limers in last sense were a royal savage to shining swan balls of chaos. Mellow Yellow, uh, Oceanics, I mean Mellow Yellow, and Thunderbolts who were using their Joker. Next, Green Ducks, Team Front, Team Momo, and Rangers. They will go um, Team Front, Green Ducks, and Rangers at the front. Um, the Team Momo, I think, had a pretty poor start. So you can see nearly every round someone's going to going and hitting. Um, one of those bollards, as we can see, Team Primary in first. The arrangers really going quite quickly to put it in second. Then uh, Team Momo and the Green Ducks will be knocked out. Next, we're up against the Snowballs, Hazes, and Cobalts, I think, as we'll stick with Tom. And the main thing we need to look out for is trying not to hit that inside bollard. If uh, one of the other marbles does, that would be quite nice. But we do hit one of those things, and it's not looking very good for us. We've got to get an insane second half, but we can see, I think that's the hazes dropping back, or no snowballs. As uh, we really have to get put in some pace now. But it'll be very close. Can we just squeeze past? It's going to be close, or just about not. We are very close, only 0.2 for second behind. As Team Momo in 8th, then Green Ducks, Cobalt, and we slot in in 5th. Next team primary arranges Hazes and Snowballs. Of course, arranges 2nd in Championship and Snowballs 3rd. So the Snowballs they have a pretty good start. The arranges in 2nd, and the Hazes and arranges going for a full on Marbid 1 style uh, fight, fight but the snowballs are gliding in the lead snowballs of course third in the championship and it'll be close to see who's second but i think the o-rangers will get it snowballs cruise to a p1 hours i couldn't really tell it's going to be a very close finish there with about a tenth between the hazes and o-rangers so snowballs winning out there ahead of hazes o-rangers team primary so we see the podium. What does this do for the championship? Not much. We stay in first position, a whole 27 points ahead of the Arrangers. Snowballs uh, making the gap bigger, making it really uh, look like top three battle now. Then Hazers, Cobalt, Savage Speeders, Green Ducks, Oceanics, Mellow Yellow, Limers, uh, Rojo Rolls, Balls of Curse, Team Momo, Thunderbolts, Team Primary, and Shining Swarm. Somehow Team Primary, even though they're in the final, ends up going down because Funnels did use their Joker, if you remember. And it's looking like it will be quite like last season with us, uh, uh, Rangers and Snowballs battling it out for the championship. Next, the Steeplechase. And I'm not really sure what this requires. I think it's probably speed and something. Uh, Team Momo using their Joker. 
So we see the example run by the blue pupils. And the aim is to try and not hit any of those steeple chases over every time you hit it. It gives you a time penalty. And it's just like first to the finish line without hitting any of them. So it's part speed, part accuracy. And of course all uh, four members of the team have to go. You see there a 19.61 for the team primary. Next up, Green Ducks. They hit a couple there. And they'll get a 24.15. You can see a big gap between uh, the two teams. Next, Rojo Rollers. They will slot in with a 20.10. Savage Speed is up next. And uh, they get a pretty decent go, apart from the last one. And they will go in second with 19.7. Shining Swarm, I think they're currently last in the championship. As you can see, the, one of them has a glitch, crossing the line. 4.96 seconds and they're able to jump up into a P1 somehow. That's quite fast for a marble. I'll uh, take a screen grab of that. During the editing it might be quickest time to complete the steeple chase. As the O Rangers is getting a pretty solid time of 19.96 there. Thunderbolts up next. Uh, towards the back of the field, I remember, as we come towards the uh, last half of the season, there'll be the uh, showdown and before the um, before fourth, uh, before a few of the teams in uh, the Marble League will get eliminated, and some new teams will go. So, as we see halfway through, Green Ducks currently in last with a very bad 24 point. 15, that's Team Momo, Thunderbolts, Rotor Rollers, O Rangers, Savage Speeders, Team Primary, and Shining Swarm. The lead is currently tied between the two of them. And of course, Shining Swarm getting that insane uh, run. Next up, the Limers. They hit uh, quite a few right well at the start. They'll get in with a 20.8. So if you want to like, get pretty good, you have to get a 19 uh, second, which I think would actually last season have been uh, the winning time. A 19, I'll just double check that afterwards. So we see the snowballs, they get a 20. And uh, we will just put our marbles in. It's very much speed uh, here. So I'll just... Uh, check out fix good and we will go. So we hit one very early on and we hit another. Well, we get a very good time, only a 20.8 though because of the penalties. Two of our marbles getting a sub six. Next, the mellow yellow. There you go and um. They hit quite a few, one of them going to be very outskirts. 20.4. Cobalt's up next. They hit one very early on. And overall, a very good apparently. 18.81. And it looks slow from that. Well, I'll say, but apparently it's actually incredibly good. Next, Balls of Chaos. They will go and get a solid 19.52. We've got some insane times coming in now. Hayes is up next. And they will secure themselves a 19.98. And finally, the Oceanics. They will go and they hit a few, including sending one through the round position in 13. As we see the Cobalts will uh, win this uh, event, then the Balls of Chaos, Shining Swarm in third, then Team Primary, Savage Speeds, Rangers, Hazes, Rojo Rollers, Snowball Slimers, Us, 
Meadow Yellow, Oceanic, Thunderbolts, Team Moro, and Green Ducks. So we see the podium here. What does this do for the championship? Not very much. Uh, we keep our lead in the championship only by 22 points now, slowly closing in. Snowballs in third, eight points behind the Orangers. Cobalt's go up to fourth, Haze is down to fifth. Then it is the Savage Speeders, Oceanics, Green Ducks, Mellow Yellow, Balls of Chaos, Limers, Rojo Rollers, Team Primary, Thunderbolts, uh, Team Momo, Thunderbolts, and Shining Swamp, who were able to get their first podium. Only Team Primary and Team Momo are uh, without a podium. You might remember they used to be called Team Momory. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.